What is today, casual Friday? No, Sean, it's my day off. Chief wanted all living bodies on hand. You know who the victim is, don't you? Santa Barbara's oldest lobsterman? No, Sean, Herb Wilkins. Best chief this department's ever had. And my boss for over 20 years. Well, here's the good news. Looks like he lived eight or nine decades before he met his maker. I'm gonna ask you to be respectful here. I will politely decline. Come on, man, I'm kidding. All right, I get it. Who are the old guys? Boone and Peters, veterans of the SBPD. Worked under her for many, many years. Volunteers these days. These guys are legends. So, so are leprechauns, but you don't see them rolling out crime tape. You guys wish you had one-tenth of the knowledge these guys currently have. Hey, buddy. Henry. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, come on, Dad. These guys are retired. The only thing they do now is keep miners from doing whippets at the 7-Eleven. These guys knew her better than anyone on the planet. Quit being a wise ass. You two might learn something here. The only thing I'm gonna learn from those two is what time the hometown buffet closes. It closes at 8. What? It closes at 8, Sean. As many of you now know, the deceased is Herb Wilkins. He was SBPD's police chief for 20 years, and we don't know what this is yet, but Herb's legacy is to be protected. Looks like the poor guy offed himself. He definitely did not off himself. I'm having a clear vision on a cloudy day. Herb Wilkins did not kill himself. Thank you, Mr. Peters, is it? If it's all right with you, I'd like to continue. My name is Sean Spencer. I am the psychic detective for the- Psychic? Son, we don't mess with the devil. Now you better ride that goat with someone else. The devil? Really? All right, well, how else would I know that he... Was wrapped up in duct tape, which explains why he's missing hair on his wrist. Sir, <laughs> I am doing my best to respect your legacy and your wisdom, the many world and civil wars that you have both seen and perhaps fought in. And Herb was not killed on this boat. Chief! I can tell you definitively, Herb did not die on this boat. Nope, not on this boat, nowhere near this boat. He was killed in another location, TBS. It's TBD, Sean. What's TBS? The Superstation. Is it really, though? This is embarrassing. It's fine. He hasn't said anything yet, I didn't already know. My theory will be proven correct after a quick inspection of Herb's gun. One problem there, Ricky Nelson, this is not Herb's gun. And you know that how? Because Herb went to bed every night with his favorite six-shooter. And he named it Darla Sedman. His gun was Jewish. And Herb wouldn't be caught having an affair with a Beretta. You know, I never named my gun. How about Mr. Thunderstick? This Beretta was placed on the deck by the killer. And the serial number's filed off. Which makes it untraceable. See what I'm talking about? It's a nice suggestion, Mr. Spencer. No, no, no I haven't done anything yet, Chief. No, I was speaking of your father suggesting that we bring down Peters and Boone. All right. Listen up, folks. I will find this cop killer. Wrong again, Rick. Herb was carried on this boat, one person under the arms, one person on the feet, which means we are looking for two cop killers. 